decide prerna and we are going to do this very interesting craft today which is life cycle of a ladybug you all like it this is what we are going to make today right so shall we start you all excited you all excited yes all right so first of all kids you all need a thin paper you can use a printer paper for this the one we use for printer it should be thin and it should be foldable easily foldable okay not a thick paper right and you will need a scale and now i am going to tell you to mark on some points just follow me okay just follow what i am doing just put your scale like this on the top and make a line of 26 cm 26 cm kids this is a line of 26 cm right and you have to mark some points on it i'll tell you what these marks are so you have to mark on 3 then 8 then 13 then 18 then 23 and then 26 i'll repeat so this is 0 this is 0 this is 3 this is 8 this is 13 18 23 and 26 and these all are in centimeters okay you all got it 0 and 26 right everyone then we'll put our scale like this vertically and make a line of 10 cm from the zero mark from the zero mark we make a line of 10 cm this is 10 cm you all getting it you all can show me a thumbs up this is fine and then again we put our scale here at the bottom and again make a horizontal straight line of 26 cm and it will be again 10 from this side as well and 
and we have to mark on the same points just like we did before 3 8 13 18 23 and 26 okay same Three, eight, thirteen, eighteen, twenty three, twenty six. Done. I'll just give you one or two minutes to do it till here. Please do it. And we'll make a Life cycle of a ladybug and with that I'll tell you some very interesting facts about all the you know, stages of the cycle. After doing this, we have to join all these points with each other. 23 with 23. 18 with 18, 13 with 13, 8 with 8, 3 with 3, like this. It will look something like this, kids. Okay. After you are done with this much, you have to cut it. You have to cut this. Please take help from someone for cutting this. Don't do it yourself. Okay. Be very careful. Don't use such sharp objects by yourself, okay? Please ask, ask someone elder to do this for you. is done and then the other side cut it nicely Now we have to fold all these points, all these lines, we have to fold with them. And how will we do that? I'll tell you a very nice technique to get nice and clean folds. Just put your scale like this and with anything pointed, like I have this lead pencil with me and I have not taken the lead out. So it's pointed right now. You can use the corner of your scale or you can use the corner of your scissor. It should be pointed but not very, very sharp. And just make a crease like this and it will be nicely folded after this. Okay, with something sharp. Use the corner of your scale if you are not able to find anything else. And see how nicely I can fold it now. How clean. Okay. 
okay make sure you don't you don't tear it okay with something sharp should be just pointed not very very sharp and i have folded it okay let's just keep this aside for now keep this aside and take your other sheet a drawing sheet this is a bit thicker one and you have to fold it in half fold it in half okay and you have to put it, put it like this like how a, 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 a greeting card opens okay put it like this it looks like a greeting card right now you have to put it in such a way okay and we are going to draw a ladybug on this this is what we are going to draw and then what we'll do is just we'll just make the half of ladybug and we'll open this sheet and you'll get a full ladybug okay got it to make a ladybug first you have to make this is a u if you see it like this it's a u capital u okay and this is how i have put my sheet i'll show it to you again this is how you have to make it this is a capital u rotated right after this this is you, what you have to make don't make it very small see how big it is this is an a4 sheet folded in half and see the size of my ladybug then you have to make an eye here just make a circle like this and erase the inner part right kids everyone enjoying so this is the i i have made two circles then you have to make a u like shape here and one similar shape yeah this is a slant u right and you have your ladybug now and now we will cut this as well your sheet should be folded okay should be like this only and you have to cut it don't do it yourself please ask someone
I'll suggest you just cut it roughly first, like this. Cut it roughly first. And then do the detailed cutting. Right, kids? I hope everyone is enjoying. Have you all seen the ladybug? Do you know where they are mostly seen? They are seen in green areas like parks. And now if we open it, this is what we get. Okay. This is how we made this. And now we open it and we get our full ladybug and we'll do the drawing part on this side as well. Just do same drawing. Like this, just join everything. Do you know what such figures are called? Such figures like um, it's same on this side and this side. They are just mirror images, right? These figures are called symmetrical figures. They just have a symmetrical line in between. This is the symmetrical line and it's same on both the sides. Like this, and three circles here. One, two, and three. And one, two, and three. So we'll make total six circles like this. So the drawing of our ladybug is done now. And what is the next step? Yes, let's color it. Before coloring, we'll make an outline. Take your black bold marker and let's just make the outlines of everything. This is a permanent marker that I'm using. You all can use a normal bold marker. Like this and let's just color the eye with black, leaving a small white dot. Like this. See how, how I've made the eyes? Okay. Now, you all can use your brush pens or your crayons or your oil pastels, any medium, any medium you like. And you all need your black color first. 
I'm using brush pens. And we'll make the upper part black. And just leave these circles white and color the rest with black. Like this. And we'll leave these two white as well. And you have to make one more circle here. Like this. Outline it. And make it black. Right? What else will be black? These circles will be black. But before that, we color the body with red. Color the body with red. Just leave the circles white for now and we'll make them black. Just make sure you, do, you don't leave any white spaces anywhere. Fill it properly. And if you see any line with pencil, just erase it. We don't want any lines with pencils to show. Right? We'll make it very, very neat. So what we are making here is a full grown ladybug. And all the full grown ladybugs look same, right? just with different sizes. But the color and the patterns are same. All are red in color with these black spots on them. Just color it very, very nicely and don't leave white spaces. Use any medium you like. You can even use paints if you want. So, let's just finish, finish our cute full grown ladybug and then we'll make all the other stages of 
the life cycle of a ladybug. I hope you all are getting it, kids, and enjoying it, right? Dispel every part, no white spaces anywhere. This is a brush pen that I am using and the brand is Dorms. So that's the body, the red body of our ladybug and for these circles, we'll use our black. Let's just make them black. Like this. You can rotate it if you want to your comfortable angle. Yeah, so this is our cute full grown ladybug. Okay, nice. Now let's just keep this one aside. And back to here. So here we are going to make all the stages of a ladybug's life. So the first one, first stage is eggs. Okay, so we have to leave this part and this part. We leave these two parts and we need the these four. Okay. Let's number them. Leave this one. The two narrower one, we leave them. One, two, three, four. We'll use these four. Okay. Got it, kids? We'll use these four. The first one is the eggs. For eggs, I'm making a leaf. Just make a shape like this first. Just make a shape like this and I'll tell you what to do. Once you have made this shape, just take your black marker see what I am doing. You have to make these exact zigzag lines. And from this part as well. So we have our leaf. And on the leaf, 
we are going to make some eggs. Just make some ovals for the eggs. So the eggs, the first stage is eggs and these are yellow in color. And these are laid in the underside of the leaves. Let's name this stage. It's egg. Our ladybug is in the egg right now. Okay. Let's just outline them. Make them overlap like this. Okay, just make one full leg and then try to overlap rest of them. So 10 to 15 eggs are laid in one place. Do you know that? How many are, are these? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Wow, perfect. Okay. So you can make 10 to 15 eggs. This is the first stage. And in the second stage, our ladybug from egg, it becomes a larva. Let's draw. The second stage. So in the second stage, that is the larva stage, they look like, they look something like a lizard. And just see what I'm doing here. First, it will be a small one, then it goes thicker, and then it goes thinner. Like this. Okay. Let's just outline it. Make the body of the larva a bit curved, okay? Like this, don't make it straight. So during this stage, a single larva consumes dozens of efforts every day. Do you know what efforts are? Do you know it, kids? Anyone? Efforts are tiny plant pests. And larva consumes them every day, dozens of them. Let's just make some patterns on it. And the legs. Okay. This is the larva stage. Let's name it. Larva. 
Then the third stage is pupa stage. And during this stage, ladybug goes through transformation. The shape will change to this. This is how we are going to make the pupa stage. I'll just outline it so that you all can see it clearly. This is the pupa stage. So this stage lasts from three to 12 days, okay? And after these three to 12 days, we have our cute baby ladybug, like a young one. The shape will be same, pattern will be same, just the color will be different. The young ladybug is yellow in color. Right? This is a young ladybug. Now let's color them. And as I've told you, the eggs are yellow in color. So we'll make them yellow and the leaf will be green. Let's just make the green leaf first. And once you have made the leaf green, just take your yellow color and fill the eggs with yellow. And do you know if these eggs are touched, they die? So you can't touch a ladybug egg. Okay, so for the second stage, let's take black and orange. The upper part will be black. The first three will be black. And the last, make the last two black. And the rest of them will be orange. This is the color for larva. So as I've told you, the larva consumes dozens of aphids every day and they even, they even eat ladybug eggs too sometimes. This is the larva and for the pupa, again, same colors.
black and orange. So this is also done. And for the young ladybug, as I've told you, it's yellow in color. So we'll take black and yellow. Black for the face. Yellow for the body. The life cycle of a ladybug is similar to a life cycle of butterfly. So you all can try to make something similar with the, with the life cycle of a butterfly. Like this. And let's just take our black marker. And scale. And just make these lines with your black gold marker. Right? You all enjoying it? Now take your ladybug and you have to cut it in half. We folded it in uh, half, right? So just cut it from there. Like this. And you have to fold it. See how you have to fold it. Go in and out. One side in, one side out. One side in, one side out. Just like this. Okay, see these two parts, how are these looking? Should look like this, okay? Got it? Shall I tell it again? See, I have opened it. Okay, I have opened it. And hold it like this. And this part will go like this. Okay? Like behind this one. Behind it. It's going like this. Okay? Not over it. Behind it. Okay? Then... This will go like this and again behind it, inside and we have it, okay? Now you'll need your fabric stick. And put it on this part. And take your ladybug, the left one. And paste it. Okay. 
then it goes like this. Keep this part like this. Here. Just fold it. Fold these. And now, on this part, let's put Fevistic. And paste your ladybug very carefully. It should make a full ladybug. Okay. And, and I can see you all are doing so good. Very nice. Very good. Please take a picture of yourself with it. I would love to see what you all have done. The ones I can see are very, very nice. Awesome. Awesome, everyone. Very good. So you all enjoyed. And you can use this to make so many things, right? You can use this to make so many things. To make life cycle of so many animals or insects or anything, right? So thank you everyone for joining and I hope you all learned something new today with me. I would love to see what you all have done. Thank you everyone. Hope to see you all again. Um, thanks a lot uh, for this Zolo class and thank you everyone for joining in. We would request everyone to put their pictures, click all the pictures and put them on Facebook and Instagram. And also tag your friends on Facebook and Instagram. On Instagram, don't forget to tag Learn Affinity Online. Tomorrow is a Sunday, so we don't have a class tomorrow. We will meet everyone on Monday. Till then, bye-bye. Stay safe, stay 